Oh my gosh. All right. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Lunar. We vibing still. You know what I'm saying? This video is We're Not Bad People. We Deserve Love. It's our homie, Night Talk. And um, the, as usual, I don't know what the video is. The title seemed interesting. And uh, when I think of We're Not Bad People, I'm thinking of uh, Ho. Hose, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know. Let's just see the bullshit that they finna like justify or whatever. I don't know. Let me stop talking. Uh, cause usually I say it and then I'd be right, and then I don't know. Yeah, we finna get it to it. Oh, please like, comment, subscribe before we get started. You, I see y'all fuck with your boy. I see y'all watching. I see y'all, bro. I see, and I appreciate every last one of y'all. We're trying to get to 500. We need to hit 300 by the end of April. Please, please keep doing. I said please. Please keep doing what you're doing. Tell your friends. Tell your friends about me. Share the video. You know, show people. Show, you know, rock out with your boy. I'm trying to. I want a nice little YouTube plaque one day. I want to get nice little sponsorships. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get this. Anyway, here we go. People think that you're just like hoeing it out for everybody. But it's like my work is my work. And then the people that I love. Oh, so she's a, a, a corn star. And she deserves love. No, you chose to, you chose to do this. So we choose not to. That's another thing I don't get. Like, yes, everybody deserves love, whatever. But y'all want, y'all still want the top 2% to love y'all. No, only people that's going to love you is a simp. I'm not going. Like, you not finna, bro. Picture your, bro. Picture dating a, a a corn star, right? And this is just something that's just coming to my head. Picture dating a corn star, and y'all get home from work that day, and you know she's starting to cook dinner and stuff. And I'm like, and you be like, hey, babe, how was your day today? Oh my gosh, today was long and hard. Oh my gosh, it was exhausting. I had to do seven scenes today. They all was like over two hours long. It was just exhausting today. And all you thinking about is her taking mandingos. She taking mandingos all day, getting stretched out. And now it's not a 10. They don't got the energy to love on you that night. Like, how can you date somebody? You said, oh, no. <laughs> Listen, bro, how can you date so how can you date a corn star that her work is sex? So how can she have the energy to come home and give you your pleasing and your pleasure? Especially if she got a you know they be taking surgical penises, bro. They be taking surgical Pennsylvanias on set right and that's that's no matter how big you are naturally and and it's a man that's out here that's blessed but they taking surgical sized ones like ones that don't make no fucking sense bro and you go in there all her walls and fucking the the insulin everything inside her virginia gone wrecked to shreds bro you just in there you can't even feel nothing at that point and it's still it's still open from earlier how bro like that's in bro i can't even imagine and then she's gonna expect you to not want it so much because of her work make it make sense my boy they may deserve it, but not from you. Whoever watching this video, not from you. And it's same for them OnlyFans chicks. They out here, bro. And then on top of that, why would you? Why would you marry somebody? Let's just say marry, because we can say date or whatever. She bring a whole new. <laughs> she bring a whole new meaning to tunnel vision. Yes, bro. And on top of that, how can you cherish something that? everybody has access to it that's the main thing bro like 
your your woman is supposed to be your temple, bro, your pyramid, your safe haven, the golden one. You're supposed to put your girl on a pedestal. It's like when she when the world can't have her, but you can. That's yours. And uh, any nigga can go on and and and, and wang wang off to him. Ain't that ain't that the slang word, KJ? Wang one. Any nigga can can go in the Google search bar and wang one. Any nigga can wang one to your girl. I don't care if it's you. I don't even want like real. I don't even want my girl selling feet pics, bro. What you said? Not wang one. <laughs> Wang <laughs> Wang <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. Like I don't know. You can say and that's another one. That's another one, bro. It's a lot of females that may come on here defending these corn stars, bro. Or whatever. But that is a line in the sand, bro. Like, yo girl, like, bro, listen. Don't let a girl that's for a, a night crawler, that's for the streets, tell you that you sassy or you insecure, or anything of the above that you could think of that I can't think of right now in this video. That don't let them tell you any of that because they want to be an OnlyFans model or be a corn star. Because at the end of the day, if you have kids with that girl or that woman, you have to think about what kind of mental gymnastics that your kids is going to, bro, like their mental health is going to be fucked when they find out their parents was for the streets. And then when their friend, don't let them, don't let her be bad as fuck. And they friends be like, bro, I be jacking off to your mom's every night. Bro, do you understand the fuck? I've got a very different version of me, so mm -hmm. I don't know. It don't matter about just this it matter about this it matter about this it matter about this it matter about this you can't be thank you bruh and i've been a talk for all dudes nobody wants their girl accessible to the world that's just it just is what it is bro. you can feel some type of way or whatever nobody wants to be that guy and everybody can just bruh if I'm with a girl and my homie subscribe to her OnlyFans is insane. Some of these women would attempt to disrespect your manhood because they stretched out more than a limo. 20 dudes in the bro. Bro. Listen, bro. Some women are evil, but some women are for the streets. And that's okay. Some women are just come drops and that's okay you have to you have to understand where they they have to understand where they add on the total pole and you have to understand where you falling don't fall in love with them you know what i'm saying keep them for the night if they let you hit hit it keep it pushing but don't wipe rub don't don't wipe and don't let them feel like you less than a than a man for not wifing them or you insecure and that's the that's the thing that's killing me they starting to make niggas feel like they are less than because they don't want to wife up bruh that's instead is bro do you not know do you not understand how fucked up that is for them to make you feel like you not a man because they let the world see they shit like really sit there and ponder on that thought be giving that to nobody else regardless if you're getting paid for it or not exactly and then that's another thing the fact that she getting paid for it right now that means while she's dating you somebody else can pay her for it because she already bro she already put a price on it 
that is supposed to be unpriceable. I probably just made that word up. That is supposed to be untouchable. And the fact that she put a price on it, that lets the world know it's up for grabs. That lets the world know that it's up for grabs. And any nigga with the right checkbook can get it. And there's nothing you could do about it, my brother, because she going to jump on it. No amount of, and, and, and it's another thing. Always pay attention to women's actions, bro. Don't let them do all that. Don't let them do all that talking because women go off of the talking and words and all that stuff. They may feel one way when they're talking to you, and they may feel something else when they see that nigga actions. And that's the one. Women are emotional creatures, and you need to go off their actions. And if their actions are showing you this already, if their action is to be a own a OF star, if their actions is to be a corn star, then you should act accordingly with her. Don't do nothing more. Don't do nothing less. And that's what it is, my brother. If she let you hit, hit it. If she let you hit multiple times, hit it. And I'm not saying dog her out and do all the degrade and stuff or whatever. I'm not saying that because they do deserve respect. But you can be friends with them. And when I say friends, I don't mean be there for her when she crying about John Doe, man, ding, ding over there. And Pookie and Ray Ray hitting and leaving and stuff. Don't be that. No. It is. You coming over tonight? Nah, cool. All right, keep pushing. And that's what you gotta be. That's what you gotta be with them type of girls. And 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 if they gonna sit there and cry their stuff to sleep, that's them. That's that's the life they chose. But don't be the one out there degrading them and saying they deserve all that. That's an old another thing. Don't do none of that. You can still be a gentleman, but don't be a simp. That's a difference. Be a gentleman, you know, like once, like if you could be cool with the hanger, you can even take her out to the movies, you can even take her out to eat and shit like that. But don't wife her and let it be known, hey, we just cool, you know what I'm saying? We kick it when we kick it, but other than that, this ain't none of that. This ain't none of that. And so, if she ever, and once she catch feelings and all that stuff, if you feel the need, you got to cut it off. Because she catching feelings and all that, then cut it off. But other than that, do not simp and do not wife no girl that's out here selling anything online or getting piped down and you can go on Twitter for everybody to see. And she on Twitter sitting thirst shots and, and posting videos and all that stuff. And, and you can go on Twitter and, and Wang, Wang, Wang went off to her in the damn comment section and scrolling down, uh, you go to her page and seeing all this stuff and all this, that, and third. Yeah, no, nah, don't do none of that, homie. And that's another thing. That's how you trick them, for real, being a gentleman. And then she be like, well, you doing all this, and I'm the only fan star. Why ain't you, you know, going to cuff me? You be like, nah, that ain't it. I ain't going to do that. I can't, I can't be with nobody that's like that. But you the homie? You know what I'm saying? Keep it playing. It's the same. It's it's the same thing with uh strippers. All this all this fall in the same thing. Strippers, oil models, corn stars, whatever. If they cool with you, keep it gangster. Other than that, don't don't be a simp. What up, YouTube, man? Steven Knight here. Um, before we tap in. Uh, y'all think I need an intro? Do I need an intro for my videos? Y'all let me know in the, in the comment. I had an intro made for my old, old videos. But I be thinking I need to add a little intro or something. A little clip intro or something. I don't know, something. To this. ShopStevieKnight.com Anytime you see me rocking some drip, you rocking with, man. Pull up over there. Find something like, I got you, bro. Y'all remember the whole Sean Evans corn star situation? KJ, I'll tell you after this video, I can't really explain that while uh, <laughs> I react to this video. I'm sure you do. I only have a couple days ago. Uh, but yeah, long story short, Sean Evans 
hot ones host uh was in a relationship with a corn star right went public went viral and that's another you see how this nigga look bro and see they get them look at this nigga i hold on my camera in the way my camera in the way bro damn i'm moving the wrong thing look at this nigga look at this nigga kj it's okay to smash one just don't date one this nigga look like a simp and these the ones they go after because he the nice guy and he the nice guy that's gonna gonna sit there and listen to you listen to her have a rough day at work and she not i guarantee you she not giving him nothing not a nothing and they be going at the dudes like that because they just want to be held at night but they don't they would never ever take these dudes seriously no no kj she's not gonna stop smack that's the bro oh my god we gotta help you. we gotta save you brother right. went public went viral you know what i'm saying adam 22 ass even involved himself talking about what he say? he said something like you know congrats on being with uh her name is melissa stratton he said congrats on you know your girlfriend melissa stratton her is fire and that's the fact that bro and that's right there that's prime example of why you shouldn't date a corn star bro like he's able to say that bro that is insane bro that is insane you want that image on you bro you a buster bro you a bum you a joke to the world, bro. That girlfriend, Melissa Stratton, her is fire. And that shit went viral. You know what I'm saying? So not only do you have the entire internet just flaming the entire fuck out of Sean Evans because he um wiped up a corn star, but you got Adam 22 digging at you like that, bro. Like, whew. of course. Sean Evans dumped her the next, very next day, which happened to be Valentine's Day, she went viral. But uh, the reason why I bring it up today is because Melissa Stratton, the corn star, is up on No Jumper with Adam 22 being interviewed, bro. <laughs> it's like, she must not give two fucks about Sean at this point, bro, because I like, I, I know you're a corn star, and, and, and it's just it's weird, bro. Like, Adam posted that tweet and that yeah. makes your man look even crazier than he already does. With and she going back running to the nigga to cry on his shoulder, basically. And I guarantee you, Adam 22, lame ass, smashed her after the interview. And you come up, up on Cuz podcast to talk about whatever the fuck y'all gonna talk about. It's, it's a wild look. But um, I'm still here because I want to see what is going to be discussed. No so um, let's tap in, bro. Okay. It says uh, Melissa Stratton on the Sean Evans breakup. Adam 22 being at fault. Bruh, it's one thing to be dating a corn star, but then the one thing that have a likes of Adam 22's cuck ass roasting you, bring up the fact that he fucked your bitch. Bruh, that's like a sure you can. Sure you can. Oh, like right. what? Man. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's go. And so. how much conversation was there? How long did it take? A lot. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's who I am. That's what I'm proud of. That's what I do. Like, I'm not trying to hide that. Uh -huh. That's she proud of? <laughs> oh, my God. Anyone, and I don't want anyone that's with me to want to hide that either. You I, I stopped with Why would, bro, why would you? <laughs> she don't want nobody that's with her to hide that. What is, bro, the mental gymnastics that she's doing, that's in. You want your dude to be proud that you're a corn star and you want him to show you all to the world. Like, look at my, look at my bitch. Ain't she bad? She's the greatest corn star ever. Bro. Listen, bro. I wouldn't even marry Lisa. I would never 
I wouldn't even marry Lisa Ann and show her off, bro. Or Angelina Castro. And I'm probably naming some old school uh corn stars, but you could tell I'm, you could tell I'm a nineties baby. But even if I dated I wouldn't even date them and marry them. Like what's some what's some black ones that the homies know? That's like a nigga marrying Pinky and showing Pinky off, bro. No, you just smash it and keep going, bro. Like it that's insane. That is insane, bro. To want your dude to be ecstatic. That's crazy. If I ever dated a bisexual woman, I don't care if she to other women as long. No, bro. That's still disrespectful to you, KJ. Like your woman is your temple, bro. Like, cause I guarantee you, she wouldn't let you smash another woman. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, do no. See that that's how I know you're young. Threesomes is only is only cool when they're you're not dating them. Oh, see, this is how women work. I dated a bisexual woman, and as soon as they date you, the three they don't want to have a threesome with anybody because they don't want you to be with another woman while they're with you. Like they don't want you, they want you all to yourself. That I'm trying that's what I'm trying to get to you, bro. It's a double standards, bro. As when you allow shit like that to happen, you're allow you're allowing them to play in your face, bro. Like a female like okay let me just put it this way if a if a if a fee if a woman if a woman has threesomes with you and stuff she don't really care about you she would she will hop on the next nigga that's worthy as soon as he pop up bro like you laughing i'm being dead serious like when i dated my bisexual ex-girlfriend she didn't she didn't talk to women no more she didn't talk to none of them no more like she because she, and then when i brought like and she was in plenty of threesomes before me but when i brought it up for me she wanted was ready to fight me bro like it's just like bro when you start understanding when how women think bro you gonna be you're gonna be like bro this shit not fair you're gonna be like uh, no bro like it, it, she's not gonna do it even if it with another woman like that's what i'm trying to get to you she's not going to care because she's only going to be thinking about say y'all have a threesome this this is what she's going to be thinking about and i'm finna i'm finna put you on game and and and, and rate it as my witness if you date a bisexual female right and she likes women or whatever and you want a threesome and you bring it up to her all she's going to be thinking about if you pipe down the other girl more than she gets piped down or if you nutting the other girl or you liking her sex or she putting it on you better than she than she does to you they're they're really fucking twist and the bisexual female is even more fucking twisted and fucked up in the head what they're thinking than a regular female so if you date a woman if you date a woman and she doesn't care about that stuff and she's willing to do a threesome she's going to cheat on you she's going to and then she's probably the type that's gonna get drunk and see a nigga and it's and or or get invited by somebody she has she's going like if she is is she's okay with that she's not gonna have standards like look at adam 22 dumbass his woman is a corn star she's a she allows threesomes right and she allows him to smash other females but i guarantee them to you exactly he's a b you see how you you see how you say he's a he's a he's a bitch that's how everybody's gonna be looking at you you may think it's cool and that's acceptable that you get to smash other women and his girl your girl is smashing other niggas and y'all can have threesomes with other women but i guarantee them to you that the nigga that they pick to smash them is going to be piping her down insanely better than you are because at the end of the day he's like a nigga is so a nigga is gonna want to make you feel less than any way possible that's why that's why you shouldn't even date these type of women that's why you shouldn't even go there 
because niggas like to like just do men as a whole as a species they want to feel better than the next man so if a nigga know he's smashing your girl he gonna be pulling out trick tricks and doing all kinds of bend flips and all, all kinds of dumb shit that he don't even do to his girl but he gonna be doing to your girl so she could think about him when she fucking you so she could be wanting to come back to him he's gonna they, like niggas are fucked up bro exactly bro let his girl get a black train down her t exactly bro like that's what i'm trying to say like and i get like she picked the like adam let her pick a nigga that she always wanted to smash and he went to town on that because he knew first off she married second off she always wanted to smash him so she probably was doing some shit that she never did to adam and you and and for you to like once you get that to click in your head bro you're going to understand that like first off if you're going to have a threesome it's going to be with two random girls that just fucking with you or it's going to be with a friend and she going to bring like you you're a lot you're better off asking your home girl to, that that you that you kind of got something for that you that you will fuck but you wouldn't date and she could find a homegirl and y'all smash and y'all do y'all thug thizzle. You better off getting a threesome that way. But a girl that you date that's bisexual is never gonna happen. And if it do, y'all gonna break up afterwards. Or, and then on top of that, if you find a girl that's cool with it, she not really for you. And she gonna she gonna jump on the next nigga that's that's talking more or anything as soon as he come by. And you're gonna be left looking crazy as hell. So if you want a threesome, don't look for it in your girlfriend. I'm just put. I'm just telling you that straight up. You got to look for it as well, cause it's it's never going to happen like you want to. And if it does happen, your girl like it's it's gonna be it's 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 just a mental gymnastic of what's gonna happen. And I would rather like keep you from that type of drama than anything else. But we got off to off topic. Let's keep going. It's too soon. I'm sorry. I'm gonna her to talk, man, but. I don't how 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 can you be proud of porn? Exactly. How? how can you be proud of that? How are you proud of being degraded that way though? You know what I'm saying? Like people do shit for money. That's one thing. For the money that come with it, I understand following the goddamn money or anybody selling out for the money. But then to convince yourself that you're actually proud. You know, and like, what were his comments about it, though? Did he seem intrigued by it, weirded out by no, it? No, kind of uninterested, really. He was like, yeah, it's cool, whatever. He in like, denial. Mm. He had to lie you know? to himself. So I think looking back now, I don't think he realized what he was getting into, even mm. though I would ask him, you know, like I even to this. No, I read it. You wrote me. You wrote me on Twitch or you wrote me like you texted it to me. Day, I don't think he ever Googled me. Mm. Like, I don't think he saw my content. I don't think I was like, I think he thought like, okay, she's a porn star, whatever, but like a, like a don't ask, don't tell kind of thing, which I'm not really that comfortable with. And like, when I would have a big, like win or success or, or like a new scene come out. Well, you say, oh, he scrolled up. Look at my hoe, her fire boy. That's my bottom bitch. She won awards and all that. Tell you she fired. This woman won a dang salesman. Yeah, that's another, like, I don't, like, how can you be proud of that? Like, why would you be proud of that? Like, how can you be proud of your girl being a, bro, insane? I'd want to share that with him. And he'd be <laughs> worried about it, but. And she rocking her OnlyFans shirt, bro. She double, she getting double the money. <laughs> Into <laughs> it. What? What, 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 why is it? <laughs> it was from jump. If cuz didn't even want to talk to you about what you do, and then you've convinced yourself to be proud of what the fuck you do, and you want to come to him with the wins that you got from some scene that you shot. Like how difficult it is for you to get to shoot a scene with anybody, bro. It's like, y'all set the market that this gotta come follow you. So you Exactly, bro. Like, how you, so bro, she's a walking sponsor. Oh God, bro, like, she just walking around like I sell cuckoo all day long. You can give me on anything. X videos, OnlyFans, shit. You can find you can you can go to my Twitter and get you a special. Insane, bro.
And you want your nigga to be happy? It's you, you coming to cuz pretty much telling him how proud you are about getting ran. You coming to him proud of the fact that you just got destroyed. Right. And then she gonna be like, like picture your girl being excited. Like, babe, I got this award because I, I lasted an hour in a Mandingo session. And, she, and you be like, ain't you gonna clap for me, babe? Ain't you gonna tell me congratulations? Like, nigga, no. Like, the girl around the corner can do that. It's ever talked about how these women gas like men, but be the first ones to say men gas like, oh, bro. Oh, bro, bro. On camera by multiple of them. And he supposed to sit here and congratulate you for it. Bitch, are you crazy? <laughs> are you crazy? At all. So he never gave you an indication that he had actually watched your stuff? Not really, no. Okay, so then the day comes where it's reported that you guys are seeing each other. Yeah. Then, middle of the day, I send out my tweet where uh -huh. I say, congratulations, Sean, her pussy is fire. You tell me, was it the fact that the relationship was being acknowledged publicly, or was it largely the fact that I acknowledged that I... Adam knew what the... F Adam, Adam and his heart and soul is a fuckboy. He knew what the fuck he was doing. I get... Bro, listen, man. If niggas done smashed your, listen, bros, listen. If a nigga smashed your chick, he gonna let you know any way possible, bro. And it's a joke to him and the boys. Don't ever, don't ever in your life get with a girl that that you know, that, that somebody you know or somebody you done seen or somebody you associate with done smashed her. You gonna be a laughing stock, bro. Like, and they gonna make your life hard for no reason just because they smashed your chick bro like she probably would make her man feel bad if he say anything to adam or the world about not rocking with what she do that's high level simping exactly she want a simp bro she want a simp and that's insane to me but just any just just as a whole though if, when you before you even date somebody just just that's why and i know women be hating the whole body count shit but that shit matters bro that shit fucking matters bro if she got a high body count let her have a high body count in a city you don't fucking be in you know what i'm saying let her be thought in, in nashville and you from fucking uh pulaski and so and she got to drive down to Pulaski to see you, bro. You don't never go to Nashville because once you go to Walmart and you see, see a nigga that done smash, bro, he just going to be laughing and just snickering and shit or whatever. Like, they just going to let you know in public because niggas don't care. They just don't care, bro. And it's just like, you don't want to you don't want to have that feeling in your chest, bro, because you're going to be ready to hurt somebody, especially if you young. You're going to be ready to do something stupid. And I'm saving you, I'm saving you jail time, bro. Because when you young, you don't think about how you act. But as a grown man, that's why, that, why you think rappers be talk, why you think rappers still rap about fucking a nigga, another nigga bitch, bro? Niggas love that shit, bro. Don't be that dude that, that wipe up the chick everybody be smashing. I, does, I know that you would love to take credit for breaking us up. I actually really don't. But... That would actually make me feel terrible. And I, I've tried to like remind myself uh -huh. when I'm listening to other people commentate on mm -hmm. it of like, if you didn't say anything about this, it probably would have gone down a very similar way, no. right? Oh, yeah. If you hadn't said anything, I, we still would have broken it up. It still would have happened. Thank yeah, because okay. it was already getting tense when that first story came out. So it was totally fine. Okay. And here's here's the funny part for me, too. I would consider you a friend. We've worked together before. We've been at the same events. Mm -hmm. Like, I appreciate you and Lena. I totally get it. I get your vibe. I get what you do. And um, I, uh, I had asked Sean about you at one point. I can't remember why. I think I had said, like, I did plug talk or something. I was like, oh, do you know adam 22 and he's like oh yeah i know adam 22 because me and lena went out to dinner with him many many years ago oh really we had dinner one time never oh, did okay. each other's shows but we had dinner had a nice conversation and then basically i don't think i've talked to him since then okay yeah so but you say rapper swap women like they playing hollywood white swap on god bro like they do that and then they gonna rap about it bro
and think the shit funny. They think it's fucking hilarious, bro. They love that shit, bro. And you don't want to be that dude. I mean, fucking, who was it? Uh, they got caught, like, I don't know, somebody, who was it, the dude? Look at, prime example. You and the dudes in B2K, I can't remember his name, but he, he smashed Omarion's chick, right? And the whole, and he got a baby by her. And then the whole world fucking be talking shit about him. And it's like, you can't say nothing about Fizz. Yeah, Fizz smashed Omarion's chick. He got a baby by her, they in a relationship. And that's supposed to be your brother. But, be, but because she been around him and stuff, you know, they could have been smashing while the niggas on tour back in the day. Ain't no telling, bro. And now you got to live with shit like that. Bro, even when I get famous, bro, I'm not dating no industry chick, bro. I'm I'm still going to find random ass country ass hoes from Alabama or whatever fucking somewhere in the South. Hell. Oh, he, yeah, he said he knew you. And I was like, oh, do you like follow him? Like whatever. And so that's so funny because I saw that he was following you uh -huh. at the time. I think we've both since been unfollowed, but. It's all good. Really? I didn't actually check. Uh -huh, I think yeah. I DM'd him as well and he didn't respond. Yes. <laughs> I think that ship has sailed. But, <laughs> but. <laughs> no more friends. No, yeah. No, so he was following you. He knew about you. Like, whatever. Okay. And so when you, you asked me, like, do you think this is funny? Should I post it? Before I posted wow. the tweet saying that your pussy was fire, I asked you if you would yeah. find wow. it funny. In part. Insane. Insane. The nigga asked yo girl, hey bro, I'm gonna put us on blast, bro. You just straight? That's cool. Fucking goofball. And that's how niggas are, bro. They fucking goofballs, bro, because they think that shit cool, bro. And they do anything to embarrass you, bro. Imagine your woman getting piped by someone named Fizz. That's crazy. <laughs> on God, bro. But like, how do you sit there and write somebody else's chick to make it okay of putting y'all on blast? Bro, that's insane. Like, bro, like, listen, bro. It, like, if females do the same shit, like, bro, like, you post your girl on Facebook and the bitch going, and, and the bitch you fucked would go and laugh because you not, you didn't cuff her, but you cuffed another girl. And so a bitch would be salty, so she'll laugh. And next thing you know, your girl asking, who the fuck is this bitch? And it's a bitch that's mad because you smashed and she wanted to date you and shit like that. Girls do the same thing, but men, men are evil, bro. How you gonna write my bitch and be like, is this funny? I'm finna post it. Da, da, da. Bro, we, bro. Because I <laughs> just... Because... Hold on, did she say to do it, motherfucker? Asked you if you would yeah. find it funny, in part because I just in my head assumed this can't, this isn't a real relationship. I ain't no bro. This ain't a real relationship. Hold on. I Hold I, on. I felt like I understood <laughs> that you had a situation. I don't yeah. actually know the technical details of your situation, no. but I thought that you had a situation going. So I yeah. thought that this had to just be a hookup and that it was being like erroneously reported by the media to be a relationship. Yeah. That's why I thought that that comment would be funny. And then yeah. as time goes by, I start to. What? He, bro, he lying, bro. He lying. Ain't no fucking way you sat there and thought that that was a fake relationship, bro. See, Adam, see how much of a bitch this nigga is, bro? And niggas, and that's how niggas operate, bro. That's how niggas operate, bro. Oh, I thought y'all was playing. My bad. Oh, you really was dating? Oh, you fucking him for real? My fault. Shit, I ain't know that was your nigga for real. I was just playing. Bro, he, he lying like hell. That ain't no way in hell he just sat there and made that shit up, bro. That don't even fucking make sense. And she's sitting there trying to, and she finna justify. Why she, bro, what you saying? He only saying that because he knows Sean won't push 
his wig back. That's unnecessarily messy, even if the relationship over. The fuck he meant it wasn't a real relationship. Right, bro, listen, bro. Ain't no, bro. That's some bullshit for real. Like, ain't no fucking way he sat there and thought that shit, bro. To realize, like, oh shit, it was a little more serious than I acknowledged. Oh, yeah, look. For nothing. It, you no, did tell me it was okay, though. Because otherwise, you. A little more serious than I thought. A little more serious than I thought. Oh, it's a little more serious than I thought. If, bro, if a nick, bro, that's how, and that's exactly how niggas play in your face. That's why you don't need to be dating bitches like this. You, KJ, this is a prime example not to be wiping up no fucking corn star, no OnlyFans model, no stripper, no nothing. Because of shit like this. This right here. Oh, it's a little bit more serious than I thought. That's some bullshit, nigga. That's some motherfucking bullshit. I did. Be, otherwise, you would be in such a good place to just be like, Fuck you, Adam, you're a f It doesn't make any goddamn sense. I'm thinking like if Adam 22 is thinking that. Thank you. It don't make no sense. Ain't no fucking way he just sat there and came up with that bullshit. Is he's, he's somewhat responsible for their relationship ending. No, nah, because she said it's cool for you to do it, dog. So fuck it. That's that show got them get out of jail free card, bro. But the and the fact that she let him post that shit, like he wrote, like yo, like he had the audacity to write her. It ain't like, it ain't like he just posted it out the blue. He had the audacity to write her, and she gave the okay. She playing in your face now. The fact that this. But, but, but the fact that this helper said it was okay for you to send that tweet, like, bitch, you. An asshole, I never want anything to do with you again. Well, you are an asshole, and yes, fuck you, but, you, you know. And she on this nigga couch laughing and shit. And that's exactly how they do you. That's exactly how they do you. She, she, they, she break over her boo because of this nigga tweet. Let's just call it for what it is. And he's sitting there playing in her face and on your face saying, oh, I ain't think that was a serious relationship. It's a little bit more serious than I thought. She gave him the okay, and now she on this nigga couch laughing, hee hee, ha ha, and about the shit. And then finna sit here and cry us the river about we deserve love and shit. You see the fucking, how fucked up that mentality can get, bro? How fucked up in the head they are, bro? That's evil as fuck, bro. That's evil. Whoever that nigga, the, ain't he a cause or something? That's this is villain origin story right here, bro. This is how you turn a nigga to future, bro. This is a villain origin story, and to sit here and watch them hee hee ha ha. And I guarantee you, Adam twenty twenty two smashed after this. I guarantee you. See, see why I mentioned gas? Like I don't even like the word, but she literally expected Sean to be okay with all of this BS. Nah, that's fucked up. Exactly. She she want him to be okay with that shit. And I guarantee you they were still dating. She would want him to be okay with her doing all this. You laughing with another nigga online about the shit that embarrassed me? Like, bro, what the fuck is that? I once heard an OnlyFans girl say she got a cheating. She got a cheating king. No, bro, that's real, bro. Like, she only a date to cheat and then she break up with you like she won't break up with you then get with the nigga that shit is fucked up bro they're fucked up in the head and that's why i say you got to understand where they fall in in the totem pole you gotta and then you can pass diseases and shit like that and a lot of folks don't get checked it's folks that don't know what the fuck they got what they've been through who they've been with this nasty and shit Bro, it be so it be girls who let niggas constantly like it. It be girls out here that a fuck multiple dudes a day without showering in between, and then come home and let their boyfriend eat them out, and they eating somebody else's nut, bro. This how disgusting females are. It's how disgusting. And and what's crazy, bro? This shit. It shit the. You a fucked up individual, bro. I'll say, it's all good. It's all good. No hard feelings. And it's all.
setting sex workers with my internet hijinks so yeah. like for sure she was my first concern and we're as well. an easy target too yeah. like i feel like we're very easy targets i get it but um no you had asked me is this funny should i post it i said yeah go for it because a couple things one i thought we were all friends acquaintances you know i thought he kind of understood your vibe even if y'all friends you don't you don't want to read a tweet from another nigga tell him you how your girl coochie is fire bro that's insane to think that's okay that's fucking insane to mm -hmm. and then two like that is not even the worst thing that people are going to or had said about him and i at that point mm -hmm. so i'm like if that's the straw that breaks the camel's back then we got to end this now because it's it only gets worse mm. you know what i mean like people speculating and saying mean things about what i do and whatever so like me just, saying like, her is fire is way easier to deal with it's than... on the nice end of the spectrum right, of because crazy some things troll to say. is well, gonna say yeah bro fuck that if you wit cuz he's bro exactly none of my what'd you say none of my friends are playing like that right rated right how the fuck is that friendly exactly egg fucking exactly bro Ain't no way in hell she thought that shit's okay. Like she, that's like, how can you even think that shit is cool? What type of person are you? Do you not care about his feelings? Like you sat there and thought that shit was okay. If it was the I guarantee fucking T U, if it was the other way around, it's we wouldn't even be. This would be, this would be a story about how niggas ain't shit. And that's your man. You had the ability to prevent that. And you want him to be proud of you? That's the main thing we started on. You want him to be proud of you, but you got the audacity to let another nigga talk about your cooter? Tweet from going out. You are looking out for your, your, your man. You facilitating the disrespect. You approved of it. Like, you were responsible for it post all the shit you did in the past that literally makes no fucking sense you're gonna allow adam 22 to put out that goddamn tweet to roast so you ro and you allowed a fucking bum to disrespect him bro. roasted him you disrespected sean <laughs> right you thought it was fun you thought it was all friends <laughs> bitch sean ain't no fucking porn star you already said he don't even watch porn that's not the type of shit he, he don't get jiggy with this shit he been he been den in denied this whole goddamn time but now Adam's going to get everybody going, talking about her, your girl pussy is fire. Congratulations. Bitch, are you stupid? Hey, oh, she is a wretched whore. And yeah. look at these 10 cum shots that she, you know, yeah. gonna, they, there's, there's like oh, a mean version of there was a podcast that we were reading the titles of all my Pornhub videos, which is like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> because all of those titles are like keywords right. for the algorithm. So it is, it's very graphic. Like Not to playing. mention porn, bro. I don't know if you do this a lot, but a lot of porn girls, one of their main ways of self-promotion is that mm -hmm. they go on Twitter and they say the slowest thing they could possibly think of. Uh, you you don't do too much I'm of not, that? No, I don't do too much of that, but I'm sure I have. I'm sure if you deep dive, you'll find some stuff that is pretty wild. So Sometimes I see girls in the porn world tweeting stuff like, you know, God, I just want to get railed up by 10 dudes today. <laughs> and I'm kind of thinking in my head, like, that tweet is almost more you know like more likely to affect your dating in the future yeah. than actually doing that yeah. thing somehow the what adam this is why i don't watch shit from him no more he says the dumbest shit known to man why would you think a tweet is more effective than seeing somebody say yo girl cuckoo is fire this nigga dumb as fuck, the bro. The tweet almost seems like, and, and good luck convincing a normal dude that this is just marketing, right? Uh, yeah, no, for sure. The average I person's think, not gonna really get yeah, that. Yeah. What's crazy about this shit is that they actually get this shit done, bro. And a lot of girls start off as corn stars because they're sex crazed. And they want the shit. I know a girl that became a corn star she wanted sex all the fucking time all the time she wanted it went crazy with it would go done with she had so much sex that she had a roommate that was a dude just so she can have a lot of sex with him and they would bring she would bring in girls for him 
And now they're both they're both corn stars. And then she would date her boyfriend. He leave after they smash and he going she go in the room with other nigga and get off some more. In bro. fact, you can never get with a normal guy. That's the whole point. No normal guy, no sane guy, no common sensical guy, no rational guy, no self respecting guy is ever gonna get jiggy with that shit. And that's the bang thing. Self respect. And that's what I'm trying to get through to everybody. You got to have self -re at some point in your life. You got to build your self-respect. You got to build your character as a man, bro. And you just can't let certain shit slide, bro. You can't. I promise you, you can't, bro. You can't let certain and you can't let these women think you some bullshit ass. This bad in the third because they want you to be a simp for them when there's plenty of simps out here that will do what they want. But you want to know why? They don't look at those niggas because they not what they want because they simping. And what's crazy about women, they claim they want us. They claim they want niggas to simp for them. They claim they want to choose a dude that's in the top 2% of men that they view or they're in the top 5% of dudes that they view that's worthy of them to simp for them when there is a whole bunch of niggas out here that will simp for them. That shit makes no fucking sense, bro. That shit makes no fucking sense. And so if they won't if they won't date none of these dudes over here that simps, don't you be the nigga that turns into a simp for her. Don't be that. All women want is money and ma majority of them do. All they care about is how much you make and if you get them off. And it's ways that like you just gotta learn your sex game, bro. You can get women off, bro. That shit's easy, bro. You just can't be in there focusing on you. But I'm not even going to get on that because that's a whole other topic. I ain't never had no problem with getting women off. Any girl that's ever dated me always get their nuts. They get multiple nuts when they, when they, with me. Like, it's to the point to where, like, you know, they got to tell me not to go too long or not to do too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and. And that's and I'm not even trying to like hype myself up for nothing. This is real shit. Once you learn how how especially when you with a when you with a woman and you learn her, like you truly want to learn her body and stuff, it's so easy to get the motherfuckers off. Bro, they're gonna be fiending for you and shit. I guarantee that's a, that's a whole nother thing we can talk about. But the money thing, all women want money. They want and it's not even they want money, they want to be secure. But you can tell, you can tell the women that are gold diggers and that want, that are, that fuck, that truly fuck with you. You got to pay to play. Let's just say that. But a girl that fucks with you, you know what I'm saying? She not going to ask for none of you can, you can get with her and get comfortable with her. And you can have, you can do stuff with her for free and stuff. And then that's when you take care of your woman. It's the difference of taking care of your woman because that's your girl. That's your chick. You there for her. You a man at the end of the day. Uh, you got to do your, your priorities. But that don't mean sit there and come to the rescue and pay all her fucking bills and be a fucking sugar daddy. You not that and you not finna be that. And we not raising that over here. But let's just say you, you meet a female and you fucking with her and y'all, you know, you go to the park and y'all do some walks and stuff. Uh, you 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 come or she come over and you you uh and y'all watching a movie or something it's okay to be like hey come, you want to come over and watch a movie we order some pizza that's paying for it you know what i'm saying it's okay to like um you know y'all going out and like say she driving her car it's okay to get out and pump her gas and you pay for her gas or something little shit like that that's showing her you a man it's a difference and you know what i'm saying but she not asking for it. Now, when she starts to expect shit from you, then cut that shit out. Because if she is telling you, like, hey, you, you need to do this for me. Or you got to give me this. Cut that hoe off. She ain't shit. Fuck her. Send her to the streets. But if she ain't never asked you for nothing, and then, like, y'all start dating and stuff. And then, you know, she make, like, it may be times, like, you say you get her some extra money. You don't made a little extra money. You got some money to fuck off with, you know. You could throw her a hundred dollars and stuff. Like, you know, hey, go go wash your car or get your nails did or something. You just being a man, it's a difference than like it's a difference than being a man and spoiling your girl versus her expecting you to do something. You gonna do it if you can't if you can't do this, she not fucking with you. Hell no. 
I, listen, bro, like, I be, you got to learn how to test women when you first get with them and shit like that. If she not willing willing to throw you some money and give you something or or pay for your dinner and shit like that or, or take you out to eat or do something for you, then you don't do nothing for her. And that, that's just is what it is. And, I, and, and I'm going to leave it at that because this video is already going to be long as hell. But, yeah, Ray, what, what you say, yes, learning their body is important. That's exactly, bro, once you learn what make her tick and what make her ooh and ah and all that shit, man, that shit's so motherfucking easy, bro. Like, you got to sit there and, 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 and that's another niggas, that's another thing niggas don't do. Like, a lot of women be, be complaining about uh not getting off because niggas not caring about pleasing them. The one thing about sex, KJ, and I, I'm, a, I'm talking to you specifically on this one. The one thing about sex, whenever you start knocking, knocking boots off and all this shit, is to never go into it thinking about you. Don't go in there wanting to get your rocks off. Go in there and, like, focus on pleasing her. The more you make her happy in that moment, the more she going to get stuck on you. She gonna be one, bro. It's women out here. It's women, bro. I guarantee you. Once you start learning to please them and learning what makes them tick, even if y'all break up and stop fucking with each other, I guarantee you she gonna spin the block and come back to you. That's how you keep them in check. And and don't and and don't break up on some like shit that's just like you know just didn't work and y'all y'all broke up in a healthy way. Oh, she ain't never leaving you, bro. She never. And don't take her virginity. Don't be the nigga that take her virginity and you the first nigga to ever, like you the first nigga to take the the smasher and you was getting her rock salt and then she go and then she gonna think that's the norm right and then she go out she go and smash another nigga and somebody bro she ain't gonna never leave you bro unless you even if you fuck up sometimes bro she still gonna all act bro word to my mom's gray bro she always gonna be there bro that, that may be the woman you marry like dead ass bro i'm I'm just, just giving you some real shit if you learn how to like when you when you fucking with a female and you learning what she like and how she like to be held a certain way when you snatch and you know, she like her like just little shit they like bro the more you start learning how to please them in the bed and you not worried about yourself and there's certain ways to help yourself last longer, too. You got to learn breathing techniques, bro. You can't just go in there and be all like, rrr, rrr, rrr. you know, and then you got, you know what I'm saying? It's way, you got to, like, learn breathing techniques. You got to be, and don't be thinking about yourself. Be, yeah, she liked that. Okay, let me do that again. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, when you focus on her, and then when she get that nut, and it don't let it be a passionate one. Where she like gripping you and like holding on to you and all this crazy shit like fucking fucking up your back. Oh, you got her hooked, bro. You you got her. She gonna I guarantee it's gonna take a lot for her to stop fucking with you. You gotta you gotta do some like detrimental. You gotta damn near get another girl pregnant for her to stop fucking. And even then, she may still fuck with you. Like if you only knew. Like I don't want to give myself away. <laughs> I don't want to give myself away. But if you only knew once, like, when you please, when you learn how to please them, and then you get better at that each time, like, and that's nothing. Niggas be fucking up to where they, they be trying to smash just to hit one time and say, just to say they hit. When you don't need to do, don't be like that. You need to, like, get cool and make it to where, like, you can hit whenever you want to. If you get a girl to where you can hit whenever you want to, she can be with a whole another nigga. But because you know her body and you know how to please her in a way another nigga don't know how to please her, oh, my God, she going to be your bitch forever. For fucking ever, bro. I guarantee you. And rate it, rate it. Tell me if I'm lying, bro. Write it and tell me if I'm lying. YouTube, tell me if I'm lying, bro. Anyway, let's finish this video. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. So, oh, that's what I was going to tell you, too, that I think, like, the reason why Sean and I didn't talk a lot about my job and my career and what I was doing in specifics and stuff is I think we were truly trying to get to know each other. Mm. I think he really wanted to get to know me. And that's what all of our conversations centered around. We're like who we were as people.
you know. I can see where he's coming from because you are, and this is not to be a dick rider or anything, but you're very beautiful. Thank you. And you have a very, very nice personality. Oh, thank and you. I do think that, you know, for sure I could see a lot of guys wanting to date you. When you're a public wow. figure, it does become a little bit more complicated because then you have to yeah. be willing to sort of go through this gauntlet of, uh, you know, a lot of different internet personalities shitting yeah. on you and whatnot, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so what was the conversation like where he told you, like, this is not going to work <laughs> Brief. out? Brief. Brief. Yeah. It was like, can't, can't, I, I'll keep that to myself, but it was brief and it was final. Okay. And, and we have not talked since. You keep wow. And was it? You keep that to yourself, but not going to keep, I ain't, bro. <laughs> it mean spirited or was it apologetic? No, uh, he was upset for sure. Um, it was not apologetic. It was kind of like, and I understood. I mean, if anything, it was maybe a little bit mutual, uh -huh. but I'm like, well, we could ride this out, you know, but whatever, you know, if you don't want to, that's fine. But um, I think the fact that it happened on Valentine's Day was like a total accident too. Oh yeah. He didn't, he's not that kind of guy. He's not like mean. He wasn't trying to like purposely make it extra bad, but oh, that's where the chips fell. Right. Damn. And so, yeah. okay. Like uh, since then, you see how fake Adam Twenty Two is like being like he like he like oh damn like he just so fucking fake, bro. Like and oh. and so that was just the end of it. It was just like the it, end. It, it all kind of just ended right Period, there. Period. Huh? Dot underlined. The damn. End. Um. Okay. But so w in the fallout from this, like, did he? Yeah. Did, he didn't acknowledge that my tweet and me giving my opinion of your he vagina hasn't actually acknowledged anything. Mattered. And hey, you see how he keep going back to that? He want to so badly to be the reason they broke up, bro. See, like, that's what I'm trying to say. Niggas ain't shit, bro. And they want to be the reason that they call. He, they want to cause turmoil in your relationship when they, when you date a girl that's been set out to the world, bro. You can just date a set out in your city. The niggas that done smashed her and all that shit, the nigga that that she couldn't get enough of, they're going to make your life a living hell. Or they just going to say slick shit like this to just be, just fuck, bro. And okay. that's totally fine. Like, you don't have well, to. Like but, would, yeah, he like didn't, <clears throat> um, he hasn't made any comment. Oh, yeah, and, like, in our conversation, your tweet wasn't mentioned. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? That's what so, this is really all about yeah. is if I should feel bad. Um, well, no, I'm just kidding, I love when you're, you feel a little guilty for, you know, giving oh, I, people shit. So I'm not going to, my bad Raider. Like I moved a mic, like, cause like, I feel like the, the mic stand is in a way. So like, I didn't want the mic covering my face. You know what I'm saying? But maybe I should angle it more or whatever. Completely like take that all away from you. But yeah. So no, you like seeing me be a little, a little human with it. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's fair. I think yeah. a lot of people give me shit like that where they're mm -hmm. like, you just come off so icy cold and like you don't have any feelings that it's kind of like enjoyable. That's so funny. That's not the... To see you suffer a little yeah, bit. I'm like, so... like, you really well, I think, think you I like feelings? it. I think you like it and kicked when you're down a little bit. Getting kicked when I'm down? No, I mean, I don't mind getting kicked in general, but if you're like really down, like, like no. once you guys broke yeah. up, then it starts to be like, oh, like this was a this was real yeah and b i might have been the cause of it and <laughs> c like now like people are continuing yeah. to sort of throw dirt on them like yeah. that just felt kind of nasty Thanks. you see how i keep going back to like oh this was real like niggas ain't shit bro they're feeling bad but no it's uh it's all good and like i said like you asked me i thought it was funny i thought we were all friends and cool with it i thought he understood like your sense of humor mm. you know and maybe to this day he does because that wasn't the reason he i'm like, sure if he removed himself thing. from the scenario he could probably acknowledge that the whole thing was pretty funny but yeah at this point i think it's hilarious so i hope he does too i mean you know? the, the whole thing about it is that we haven't really anybody, seen anybody i don't uh, understand because because i don't live in a spoken world but i don't i don't understand how any normal person would find that funny that that's that white folks shit bro like that be the, like who was my damn I, my boy, I, I, bro, I'm sorry, I, I forgot your name. It's a YouTube commenter. He, he, he commented. I said something on a other video about this be some white folk shit. This some white folk shit. This some white folk shit, bro. Like only white folks to come up with some shit like this and think it's funny, bro. Cause ain't no way in fucking hell any sane person. And it's only them certain white dudes that just 
that are dicks, but they they think everything that is awful is funny, and they want the world to enjoy that. And it's just like the fact that your girl gave an okay. It's just like she don't care about your feelings, bro. Like first off, any female allowing this, they just don't give a fuck about your feelings, bro. They just don't. But I mean, you know, I mean, but she's a she's a she's a porn star. What man's gonna brag about? This, this that this the white folks should I be like this that and it and it and and, and y'all know when I say this I'm not talking about all white folks just like I can, my my bro from another comment I can't think of your name you know you know who I'm talking about I see you but this that shit we was just we were commenting on on the last video this that shit this that white folks shit and the people that get offended be the ones that be doing that shit and this shit like. Only they can come up with that, bro. And and this is shit that you pointed out. And I'm glad you pointed it out. And cause I can't even I can't even come up with a scenario I would even think to say some shit like this. Unless I'm trying to play you as a man cause I done had your bitch. And that's the and that's not funny. That none of that shit is funny. Smashing the pussy that you have wiped up. That is literally that's disrespecting that man. Yeah, it's gonna exactly. be funny, but the person you aiming the damn joke at is not gonna find that shit funny unless they are cuck like you. I mean, you know? the, the whole thing about it is that we hadn't really exactly. seen uh, an adult star in a successful relationship <laughs> with know. like a an NBA player, a, a star movie guy. And I wonder why. I wonder why we haven't seen a corn star in a successful relationship. He says the dumbest shit. What do you expect? As soon as you wipe them up, everybody and their mama coming out the woodworks making jokes like yo stupid ass. And you. A, 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 a top will. level rapper you or whatever will, and like you bro. know certain people even like a freddie gibbs is like pretty well known and he was in this ro will. relationship with uh destiny creams for a period of time mm -hmm. and they ended up having a kid it didn't end up working out but i saw how much shit he took for it as yeah. a rapper and it made me kind of like ah okay like we, we still haven't really found like the guy that's willing to be the porn star husband yeah. on a large level you you see the porn star baby daddies lana yeah. rhodes got a, a nba oh, baby daddy yeah Poor but you don't necessarily tink. like to <laughs> see it being possible and i'm still waiting to see you know i want i want to see a too, Le leonardo man. dicaprio with like a, a porn star wife fuck yeah he doesn't seem like he's ready no. to settle listen down, like but... we're good people and i don't think people adam, under why does adam 22 want everybody to be a fucking dumbass simp like he is Nobody's going to wipe no fucking porn star. No sane person is going to wipe a porn star. Why would you do that to yourself? And he's out here like, I haven't seen no successful relationship, man. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio, he needs to date a corn star. Why the fuck would Leonardo DiCaprio date a fucking corn star? That don't even fuck that. Adam 22 says the dumbest fucking shit. Like, it's okay, and it's dumb as fuck, bro. That's the dumbest shit ever, bro. And, you, like, you, you saw what Drake did. Drake hid his fucking baby. He he got one pregnant, and the nigga talk about loving them hoes. All the, he talk about loving corn stars all the fucking time. And Drake even hid his fucking, tried to hide his baby mama forever. It wasn't until, it was only because of a diss record she got known. Like, nobody wants to wipe, nobody's gonna, no sane, logical human being is going to date and marry and be in a relationship with one. Understand, like, there's this level of, like, emotional evolution that you go through when you do, like, sex work or porn that, like, you save, like, the very real side of yourself just for the people that love you mm. so people think that you're just like hoeing it out for everybody but it's like my work is my work and then the people that i love get a very different version of me so mm. i don't know it's i want i want to see somebody happy in the media too but it wasn't my turn i guess that was her attempt to sell a sex worker to a man that's normal Bitch.
No, it would never happen. She pretty much said, uh, I'm able to disassociate my work from my personal life. Like the fact that you said like the person you get with is a different version of you. No. Yeah, it may be a different person than you and you may be a lovely person. But at the end of the day, bro, whenever people stop thinking that sex is just some hot commodity that you get when you go to IHOP, like, yeah, let me get a pancake and a side of uh, dick sucking. Like, you that are never, like, when folk and, and folks treat sex as, like, the sacred thing that it is, then you will understand. Like, especially as women, like, and everybody say niggas be wanting the hoes or they be liking all the pictures of the girls that be half naked. They show that off because that's what they want to do but that don't mean ye, we want that we want to smash that but we don't want to wife that and like women think that we want to wife that and we don't like if you go it's like a fucking car you can see a hot ride car all day long and you're gonna like the advertisement love the advertisement but do i got the money to take care of that hot rod car if i do i may cop it but at the end of the day, you're going to have something reliable at the crib that you can hop in and keep it pushing every day of the week. Just because you have the money to buy these hot rod cars does not mean you're going to drive these hot rod cars all the fucking time. You may take one out for a spin, but at the end of the day, you're going to get back in that Toyota. And I'm not saying the, some women are Toyotas or some, some women are hot rods, but it's just like you may like what you see to some of these females. But that you not gonna you not gonna wipe a hoe, bro. And any female that's out here just showing out everything and shit, bro. Like she advertising it, she advertising herself, and everybody gonna want a test job, but we not finna purchase it. And it's just, it's just insane. But shout it. Unfortunately, what you use for your professional life is what a man needs to have exclusive. To himself it don't matter about just this it matter about this it matter about this it matter about this it matter about this you can't be giving that shit to nobody else regardless if you can regardless if you can pay for it or not exactly. her logic will not work for any man outside of those who view the world as a adam 22 you know i love you my feelings are for you i just be fucking everybody else <laughs> you sound like uh uh jay-z you know i was just fucking them whole i was gonna get right back well no 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 sweetheart <laughs> no sweetheart it doesn't work that way it never will work that way and uh you know that ship has sailed for you a very long time ago today i wanted to talk about three strategies which i'm going to be using into 2024 I ain't had nothing to say at the end. I feel like I done said it. This this video is gonna be long as hell. Let me go back to that one. People think that you're just like that. This video gonna be long as hell. But um, yeah, I'm exhausted after that one. Now that, that was a damn. She pissed me off. I don't know. This video probably like an over an hour long at this point. But uh, YouTube. If you watch the whole thing, I'm thankful. You, if you only knew like the damn had the stream cut off in the middle of the video and stuff so the fact that i was even able to salvage this video is a blessing i appreciate you watching the whole thing like comment subscribe we on the road to 500 we trying to hit 300 by the end of april you know what i'm saying come over to twitch if you want to see me react to this shit live and uh you know, share your friends, show me out to your friends, you know what I'm saying? Come just join the moon village today. I need to start telling my the, the we the moon village over here. Come join the moon village. Subscribe to the moon village. You know what I'm saying? But uh we I'm out this thing. Peace out.